Hey guys, Christian here. It's October the 20th, Monday, 2014, and today I want to share something with you. So for the past couple of months, God has had me go speak to this particular preacher who gave me a dream. When you have a dream, you're supposed to tell it, right? You know the scripture. Anyway, so I go and I speak to this preacher about what God has shown me. Uh, and then today I went because I had more information God had given me. Um, it's important to take note of that because as I mentioned before, I think it was last week, talking about coming out of the cave, uh, the vision I was talking about in the past. When you come out of the cave, uh, first off, when you're in the cave, uh, you're growing. You're, God's still teaching you things. He's still uh, preparing uh, food for you, right? And you're learning and all this, but you're hidden. Nobody can see it. Um, I remember going through a situation where I finally got frustrated and wondering why it is that despite all the effort and all the energy that I put into this and everything that God's taught me and everything, no one could care less, really. It felt like just nobody could see what God had given me, you know. And God's uh, word came very clear. He said, because you're in a cave. And it dawned on me, the enemy can't see you while you're in the cave, but neither can anybody else. Well, as I've mentioned in the past, I'm now out of the cave. God has called me out of the cave, right? And I know that there are many other prophets who may be coming out of the cave at this very point in time as well, because whatsoever God is in me, he's going to do to the church. And because I'm now out of the cave, I'm being sent to go speak to uh, individuals that God gives me a word for. So it's important to take note of that. You might be experiencing that yourself. Uh, and that's what I was doing today. I went and had a, a nice discussion with a pastor uh, near uh, where I live. So if you're experiencing those things, if you're starting to get dreams about other people, uh, other churches, other uh, leadership, whatever it is that you may be uh, receiving from God, uh, again, that's more confirmation that you are out of the cave now. It's time to do something. There's a time and a season, right? And there's two different things, and well, it's time. I'd like to talk for a moment about delivering messages. And sometimes you guys might have dreams, or words from God, uh, visions, or whatever it is that God gives you. Maybe you don't understand all that God has given you. And maybe even when you deliver it to whomever you're supposed to deliver it to, maybe they won't understand it all. And that's perfectly fine, that's normal. Um, is the glory of God to conceal a thing, right? And the honor of kings to search it out, okay? Um, it's important that you take note of that. It, you don't have to understand everything when you deliver it, unless God tells you to wait for more information before you deliver it. Uh, it should also be noted that if you go and you give the word, give it exactly as you received it. Do not add to it or take away from the word of God, right? We know that. Uh, on top of that, if the person who's receiving the word that you're delivering uh, understands it or doesn't, that's not your department either, okay? You don't have to force them to understand something. Um, Jeremiah, uh, there's a place in the book of Jeremiah where the prophet Jeremiah mentions that an individual is not hearing the word because God has determined destruction against that person, and that's why they're not hearing it. So you, sometimes you can explain things inside and out, know every detail about it, and the person you're talking to, they're just not going to get it, okay? Um, so it's important to take note of that. I remember one time, some time back, I gave, I had a dream that I later gave to the person that I had dreamed this about, or the church that I had given this uh, word to, and um, some months later, that individual, the head of that church, um, reminded me of the dream, and he said, remember that dream you had, and, but he told it wrong. And so I corrected him, and I said, no, the dream was like this, and it was a very important element of the dream. Actually, the dream that I had was that the church, and I was inside the church, and I saw the elders of the church running back and forth in this church, and they were working on the inside of the church, putting up uh, a sign here, like a, a board, uh, plastic, um, drywall, that kind of thing. And as they would go over this side, and they would hammer a piece up, the entire church started to shift this way. And so to counterbalance it, they would run the other way, to try to get that to, you know, just keep from falling over. They'd run this side, and they'd put up a board here, and then the church would start to move that way, and then they'd run the other way. And in the second part of the dream, I was outside of the church, and I could see the church, and the foundation holding the church up had been eroded away to just a point, and then eroded back this way. So it was just basically on a toothpick, you know, preparing to, to, to uh, uh, break, right, and fall down. But every time that this pastor would be to the dream that I had, he would say, remember how the church was messed up and the foundation was good? So the first time he did that, I corrected him and said, no, this is how it was. And then sometime later, he again tells me the dream. He said, remember that dream you had where the church was messed up, but the foundation was good? 
He did it twice. And at that point, I knew and it doesn't matter. I, I, I can't change this person's mind. I can't make them see what they don't want to see. And God has determined for this person destruction. Today, that church is no more, uh, it's not operating anymore. They have a, a Bible study going, but that church is closed. Thank <laughs> you.